welcome to my uh, program. So I'm again connected from uh, international uh, alumni uh, seminar in Sabuka. We are in a tea break. As you can actually, it's make in Germany it's coffee break. So I'm with uh, Dr. Ding from uh, Vietnam. So welcome to my program. So basically, the basically the idea is actually uh, this is mainly for my students and friends in Sri Lanka as well as outside for people who are interested to come to Germany, study about Germany more. Uh, they want to know like some experience from international people who uh, studied there and you know, return back to their country. So that is the purpose. So okay. welcome again. So uh, please explain uh, about yourself, about uh, self-introduction, about your background. Yes, yeah, so thank you for uh, inviting me uh, to this short interview. My name is uh, Ding Haiyu and I'm from Vietnam. I have been studying here in uh, Germany quite a long time, uh, including my study, working uh, and researching here in Germany over 10 years and in the University of Salon for um, more than five years. So my um, topic, my subject of research is um, business informatics, um, operations research, optimizing the business processes, okay. and uh, yes, let's say in general to improve the effectiveness of the company working uh, in business. Okay, but I want to ask an extra question also, which I didn't ask from other people. Now, we hear a lot about Vietnam, its uh, economic uh, success and everything you did recently. Month, uh, years mm -hmm. uh, and as Sri Lanka, uh, you know, as a neighbor, as well, to come to some extent also competitor. Uh, so we, we want to know like how you have been doing so well. What are the secrets and things you share as a local uh, professional about your oh, country? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. So Vietnam, so maybe you know it already. It's a country in Southeast Asia uh, and has the uh, neighbor. We um, uh, in the in, 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 in the car in the. Um, map we lay next to uh, China and Laos and Cambodia and also a very big sea so we are half uh, island and um, yes the economy is, is, is doing quite well and we have a stable situation okay. of politics and economics and uh, development of GDP uh, per year is around 6-7% uh, okay. in the recent years. Um, yeah, what should we say about? But we have to concentrate more um, and um, make more effort uh, to have sustainable development. Yeah, Meaning that even last yesterday, I watched, I watched a program on Bloomberg or some English channel about the textile industry. Yeah. So I want to actually know how you know. For example, also I find that all the Vietnamese I meet are very hardworking guys. They're very uh, achieved academically. So what is the secret of having that kind of success in education, higher education? Especially in textile industry, we are quite uh, play a quite uh, important role. Yes, I mean we have seen many yeah. things made in Vietnam, yes, so yes, shoes and textile yeah. and so on. Uh, yeah, education. So the government also concentrates a lot on um, um, making people assess easier mm. to, to education, high school education, and now also universities. So we have a lot of universities in Vietnam, and also cooperation with foreign countries like. Uh, Germany. So I myself come from the Vietnamese right. German University. Yeah. This is um, an important project between the two government, uh, German and Vietnamese government. Okay. So that my next question. Now this is a very interesting thing for us because uh, for us in Sri Lanka, Germany is still very far because we focus more about UK, US, Australia, and countries like that. You guys even have a German Vietnamese university. So how how do you manage that, and what are the activities? What's happening? How, how you kind of run that? Yes, to tell the truth, um, the university is quite young, so uh, we did uh, only um, since 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so establishment uh, was in 2008, and we have only about around uh, 11 study programs, masters and bachelor. It was a project initiated by the um, Ministry of Education and Training in Vietnam okay. because, okay. The, okay. Uh, let's say, the boss of the ministry was. Um, uh, previously in Germany, in Hessen, okay. in Frankfurt, and so he has connection okay. to uh, okay. German government. Yeah. Okay. So he was the now he's the Minister of Higher Education? Um, actually, um, the previous one. Okay, yes. okay. And also now, this is a government one or it's a private or how, how it runs? 
This is a public university. Okay. Yeah. This is, uh, so mainly funded by German government and uh, both, both uh, sides. Yeah. Okay. We are funded by the land of Hessen, okay. by the BMEF, okay. the German uh, Ministry right, right. for building and for training and research, uh, and research, and also from the Vietnamese uh, government. Yeah. Uh, they subsidize a lot. Uh, yeah. So you see, this is a very good example of uh, international collaboration and how countries like Vietnam have you know, coming. Uh, uh, you know, the German uh, government and German universities have collaborations because in countries like Sri Lanka, we still com complain, ag complain against international players and they, they, they come with some agendas. And so this is a very good example for such kind of setup. Now I want to ask, you want to say something on that? Yeah. Yes, maybe some 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 yeah. words on this. Uh, I'm also very happy to to uh, get to know the college from Sri Lanka here. We also. Um, uh, we are also very international, yeah, and we also have students from, uh, for example, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, right, right. and India. Okay. Okay. So, if you have interest, and visit our website and search for some interesting study program. Right. The, the, the opportunity is that you can study in as in Asian country, right. some Asian culture, and uh, finally get a German degree okay. because okay. all of the study um, program are imported from Germany. So and it is that can be very expensive also because it's not yes. subsidized. Yes, it okay. is internationally uh, recognized also. Okay, so that's a very good. Uh, unit and offer. Yeah. Now I want to know, uh, like you know, as a person, like what are you doing at uh, in, in university in your home country? So what is your motivation to go back and work there, even though you could have stayed here or found a job, uh, maybe family or something? Uh, but still you went back. So what was your motivation to go back and uh, work in Vietnam? Yeah. So as I have mentioned, I have uh, uh, work and study and. Uh, uh, and research in Germany for over 10 years. Mm. And 2015, I decided to go back to my home country, to mm. Vietnam. 2015? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so four years ago, to, today is 2019. Mm. Um, yes, the main reason is that uh, I, I think that I would have um, uh, more, let's say, opportunities in an emerging market. Right. Vietnam is a developing country and there are still many opportunities. And uh, we attract a lot of FDI, so foreign direct investment, also right. from German companies. Right. And so I still can and uh, apply my knowledge that I have learned in, in Germany. Yeah. The German is yeah. like a high. <laughs> yeah, we have a plan uh, to move there. <laughs> it is the new weather, very nice. Yes, so as a conclusion, um, as, as, as in my role in Vietnam, I can contribute a lot to uh, the development of the relationship between both countries yeah? and, and with my knowledge also in um, the German language okay. skills. So thank you very much. Thank you for your time and all the best for your international language. Thank you also. All the best for your students. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.